Once we have the annotation, we need to create our Kotlin symbol processor. So what I will do is, I will create a new class and I will name it generate to JSON processor. Now to this class, we will pass code generator and with the help of this code generator, we can generate code. So this is the code generator and you can see it is from KSP. Now to this class, we will inherit symbol processor and inside this interface, this is an interface you can see and inside this interface, we have a function that is process and inside this function, we need to process the annotation and generate the required code. So the first thing that we will do is we will get all the classes that are annotated with generate to JSON annotation. And to do this, we will define symbols and we will use this resolver to get all the classes. So we have resolver dot get symbols with annotation. So this function will find all the symbols that are annotated with our annotation. In this case, it is generate to JSON class dot qualified name. And I will add this operator to make sure it is not null. Now we have all the symbols. Now what I will do is I will process every symbol. So I will write symbols dot filter is instance and then I will write for each and for every class declaration I will generate code. At the end I will simply return empty list. Now here I need to process every class to generate an extension function that will return the JSON string. So here I will call generate to JSON method and I will pass class declaration. Now let's define this function. We have private fun generate to JSON method. We have class declaration and it is KS class declaration. Now inside this function, we will generate file and inside that file, we will write Kotlin code. Now first, I need the class name because I am going to create an extension function for the class. So we need the name of the class. So we will write val class name equals to class declaration dot simple name dot as string. The same way we will get the package name because package name is also needed to write code. As you can see, the first line is always the package name. So we have class name and package name. Now I will create a file. So we have val file equals to code generator dot create new file. Now here I will write dependencies equals to dependencies dot all files. I will define the package name for this file that is the package name. And I also need the file name. So for file name, I will pass class name and I will suffix to JSON to make the file name unique. Now we have the file inside this file, we will write the code. So we will use file dot writer dot use and inside use, we will get the writer and with the help of writer, we will write the file. Now here we need to write the code and in the code, the first line, the first line is always package. So we have package and then package name. Now we will create a function and this function is an extension function of the class. So we will use class name dot to JSON. This function will return a string. Now here we need to return the string that will be the JSON equivalent of the class. And to do this, we need to get all the properties of the class. You can see we already have the class declaration here. And here if we write class declaration dot get all properties, then this will give us all the properties defined in the class. And we get a sequence of type KS property declaration as you can see here. So what I will do is I will create one more function. So we have private fun sequence of type KS property declaration. And I will name the function as to JSON. 
so i am creating an extension function of this type now inside this function i will simply create a json with all the available properties this dot join to string because i have a sequence here and i am joining all the sequence and this is the prefix and this is the postfix to make it a json and we also have the separator because json is separated with commas now what i am doing here is i am writing the property name so this is the name of the property and this is the same thing with a dollar prefix so when we call the function we will get the value of the property because a dollar is prefixed you know this is how kotlin works so this function will return the json equivalent of all the properties defined in the class now i can use this function to complete this function so here i will simply write return then get all properties and then to json now this function will return the json equivalent of the class and now we can use this processor but to make this work we need to do few more things that we will do in the next video so thanks for watching